your one-stop Honda shop, Whitey and Watkins, and it's a pleasure to welcome back to the show the one, the only all-time Kings icon, a great Jerry Reynolds. How are you today, Jerry? I'm really good, I, and I'm really great to hear that Chris is back, uh, you know, g- given hitting at least half a lick anyway, you know, playing hurt. <laughs> Uh, pretty impressive pretty impressive thank you yep. availability that's the key that's exactly the key. but jerry last night he played slow pitch softball and he only had one hit in slow pitch softball yeah he maybe should have taken another day off <laughs> i really should have honestly like that is I, I about like the third inning i was like i probably shouldn't be out here the air quality was bad i was bad it was just like this is I think I've actually done more of a detriment to my team by being here. So yeah. well, well, learned. I, my guess is my guess is Chris, that they, they were feeling the same way. <laughs> yeah. I was definitely getting some looks and I was like, yeah, I know. I know I'm sorry. Guys. Now, Chris, Jerry tells me, I don't know if I can believe this. Jerry tells me that in Indiana, they used to play overhand fast pitch softball. That's what he says they play. What? No, it was in Kansas City. Kansas City. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. You know, I worked for as a summer job, a recreation leader for Hallmark Cards, and they had several inter you know leagues of overhand fast pitch. I've never <laughs> seen it, heard of it anywhere before or since. And uh, you know, it was, you know. Of course, I, I don't know how many. I, I'm just amazed, and they had it for years. I'm sure a lot of guys that played probably don't have a, a right arm anymore. Yeah, but uh, that doesn't make any but, sense. Yeah, it was it was remarkable. I Nothing mean, when they told sense. me about it, yeah, that, uh, that I said, no, you, you you mean fast pitch? You don't mean overhand? I said, yeah. no. And so you know, I, I witnessed many games, many games. That's wow. That That's, doesn't seem somebody at some all. point just couldn't master the underhand. I guess said, so. Yeah, yeah they're like, it. just do I'm it over. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it over. Yeah. Well, well, you know, I think it did have. The, it was the same type of game in the sense that the pitcher dominated. Uh-huh. Right. You yeah. know, a, a great underhand fast pitch pitcher. You know, you just don't hit them. Uh-huh. And uh, and and so I that was pretty much what this game was. And and I think uh, that was at the time really slow pitch was just getting a toehold, which mm. you know as we have all know, pushed everything out. Now, of course, we want to talk basketball, but I got to mention this. Jerry, I, and hopefully I'll get this right. I didn't quite get that last tidbit right. But you held for a while, like your school record for batting average or a state record for batting average by a second baseman. I know you're an outstanding baseball player. What, what was the, the record that you held? No, it was uh, a career uh, high school batting record. And I don't know if it still lasts, but it was – for at least 40 or 50 years, but I, I hit 442 for that. four seasons. Look at for that. Four seasons. What? Yeah, well, Jerry Reynolds. Keep, Ted Williams over here. <laughs> and I said, and keep in mind, it was Indiana baseball. It's not, <laughs> not, not California baseball. You, you play, play who's in front of you, Jerry. There's nothing you can do about that. <laughs> well, well, no, I, you know, all you can do is uh, hit the ball thrown to you exactly. by whoever. I mean, if they can throw it 75 mile an hour, okay, that's all. <laughs> that works. That's yeah. incredible. Most See? interesting man in the yeah, world. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I want to ask you about uh, Sasha yesterday, Jerry, in the, of course, the big press conference. And I know we've talked about Sasha a lot. What do you think is the most important thing Sasha Vazenkov can bring to the Kings this year? I think he's a real pro. You know, and I mean, he's an experienced guy, uh, you know, will and skilled. So he'll be able to fit in, I think, seamlessly. I think that's the best thing as opposed to a, a 19-year-old rookie, uh, unless you really are lucky and get a Keegan Murray type thing. But, uh, yeah, I, I think he's – I just can't imagine him not fitting in extremely well quick. And, uh, you know, and then given the Kings, you know, the ability of – just the score is probably better than anybody in the league. Maybe this is a, maybe, I don't know. I, I think it might be a dumb question, but is, is it possible to almost have too many shooters on a team? I, I kind of look at this Kings roster and, you know, with the exception of really, you know, Fox, Sabonis, Davion Mitchell, a lot of the guys who are in the Kings rotation really excel at, at being perimeter shooters. Is is there at any point, and you know they they now add Sasha and Duarte to this mix as well. At any point, is it can you have too much shooting on your in your rotation? Is it possible to have too much? I think it's possible. I, I don't think it's 
ever happened yet. Uh, put it that way. And in, in today's game, I, I don't know if you can have too much shooting because it's a, it truly is a, a shooter's game. You know, I mean, that uh, come down in transition and look for open threes, uh, draw and kick to open shooters. Uh, everybody that plays uh, should be able to pretty much be able to shoot, if not score. I mean, probably Sabonis, uh, obviously he's not a great shooter, even though his percentage would, would say otherwise, because he takes great shots. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm of the opinion so far, and I would have agreed with that years ago. But in today's game, everybody trots out there unless they're really uh, the center and play around the basket a good bit. Better be able to make four, make three point shots. Jerry, I know among other things, of course, you were uh, the, the uh, pardon me, the Monarchs' general manager. So, do you think Javale McGee can help the Kings as much as his mom helped the Monarchs in her one year here? He, he will uh, be significantly more valuable. Uh, I traded his mom, by the way, <laughs> in, uh, uh, she, to L.A., she, and she wanted the trade because she had been a star at uh, Southern Cal, and so, to, so she was happy with the trade. But I, I do remember JaVale uh, hanging around, you know, a little bitty, kind of a pain in the ass, actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but uh, you know, but I, I, I really think it's a good pickup. I really do. I mean, he's matured a lot. You know, he's like a lot of guys. His early years, he struggled. You know, he was a lottery pick, and people expected maybe more than he was ready for. And as he's developed, and certainly Mike Brown knows this, I think he really, he, he really understands what he's good at and what he can do. And, and that's why he's been on championship teams. So I, I think a marvelous pickup. I was hoping they would pick him up, to be honest. Mm-hmm. I mean, when I first heard that he might be available, I just assumed he wouldn't be available. Mm-hmm. Jerry, I, I was, I've been thinking, you know, with everybody that the Kings have been bringing in recently, you know, Scal and Nerlens and, uh, you know, Namias Kata and now, JaVale McGee, like they're clearly putting a huge emphasis on just trying to find somebody to be that rim protector at the, uh, you know, for, for them on the defensive end. Is is there is there a chance that this is kind of a, a pointless exercise? Because and where I'm getting at with that is, you know, the root of the problem is more the fact that people just have open lanes right to the hoop. Is is getting a rim protector really going to solve the the Kings issues? You know, I'd, well, it's a great question. I, I think I think this can help a little, you know, but you hit on it. I mean, uh, I don't care unless you're Bill Russell back there. Uh, if you're going to if you're going to have guys straight line drives to the basket, uh, all you're going to do is get big guys in foul trouble. Right. Uh, now, what it does do, I think it gives uh, Coach Brown more fouls to give to try to protect things and uh you know, I, I do think JaVale McGee is, uh, really is, could be a legitimate uh, help on this team. And I think of all the centers they got, I mean, I think he might be the one that emerges. I'd be surprised if he doesn't emerge as the consistent backup. Yeah. Uh, speaking of um, uh, uh, players trying to find their way, Harry Giles back in the NBA. Jerry, one-year deal with uh, Brooklyn, terms not disclosed. Uh, what do you make of that? How good is that for Harry Giles? And and where do you think uh, – where does he need to get his game to be a contributing member of an NBA team? I think, uh, you know, just probably a little more consistent and everything. You know, he's a very skilled guy passing and, you know, a little smallish for a center, so he's going to have to sh- shoot the perimeter shot better, that sort of thing. I, I think he's a – you know, of course, I'll say this for Harry. He, he ranks as right at – top of the best guys nicest guys to ever put on a king's uniform so uh boy wishing nothing but best i mean don't you know i think maybe he could find a limited role there and that's what you hope for at this stage and uh so hey by the way i was listening to you guys talking about some interesting uh you know, sports mm-hmm. trivia kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh I don't know if you mentioned this, but did you know that the Stanley Cup is not the actual name? It's the Dominion Hockey Challenge Cup. What? Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why that would is 
that is, I, I checked it. It's exactly <laughs> right, fellas. And you need the guys need to know that. Be up on top of what, what the accurate. So when they say Stanley Cup, you say, no, that's not the original term and the correct term. It's Dominion Hockey Challenge Cup. Dominion Hockey mm. Challenge Cup. Okay. I, I will never, never call it the Stanley Cup ever again. I, I swear to you that. I never knew that. Yeah. And also, I would never question Jerry. No, no, 100%. I'm not going to question it at all. I'm not even going to look it up. I just, that's that's just a fact of my life now. Uh, Jerry, it is, earlier. It is, go ahead. It is so interesting with all the sports trivia. And of course, you guys do a lot of it. It's great. But, uh, you know, just uh, I, I'm one of those nut jobs that spend time <laughs> looking for that stuff. You know, it's like I was looking the other day and, you know, John Stockton, had he not played his last, last six seasons in the NBA, would still be number one in assists. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah, he's got a crazy steals and assist lead. Jerry, the, the stat yeah. we went over earlier yeah. that Chris couldn't believe, and it's my favorite stat, is Wilt Chamberlain, uh, the year he averaged 48 and a half points, excuse me, 48 and a half minutes. 48 and a half minutes per game. That's one of the all-time greatest NBA records. It is. Uh, you know, and of course, that's helped him score over 50 points a game on average, yeah. uh, which is another pretty good uh, stat, you yes, know. And, yes, uh, <laughs> Of course, uh, you know, I, I got one more for you, though. All right. It's almost, all right. Wayne Gretzky <laughs> would be the all-time leader in points without scoring a single goal. Wow, just off of his assists? Just off his assist. Wow. That's incredible. That is I mean, that might be why they call him the great one, you think? Right. I guess so. I guess that's a that's a well. What's with all the guy? hockey trip? I know, yeah. <laughs> also that <laughs> hockey season around the corner. Jerry's just trying to get up well, to speed. I have very little interest in hockey, but these things <laughs> just really uh like wow. I mean <sighs> Kind of, I'm kind of like you guys. If there's things that just like I, I didn't know or couldn't mm -hmm. uh, imagine, you know. Mm -hmm. So, so this, uh, you know, helps me get through the day. You know, I mean, waiting for football season and there you go. There watching, you go. watching Florida and Utah last night don't count. <laughs> that was a butt kicking. Yeah, that's All right, so. Jared. Well, we hope you have a great weekend. Thank you so much for the insight and the uh, trivia. Uh, I, I, <laughs> we just have you know comments here, people on the on the chat about how great Jerry is. We, we appreciate it very, very much. We'll talk to you again soon, sir. Well, just tell the people to set their goals a little higher going forward. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jerry Reynolds. You guys are the best. <laughs> the absolute best. He always manages to throw something in there.